morning everyone. Uh, make a little fire this morning, it's a little bit chilly and I'm gonna cook something on the fire this morning. Um, hopefully it's gonna work. So I wanted to make sure that everything was fine. Uh, I was lazy a little bit this morning. I probably should have like prepped my um, my campfire last night instead. <laughs> uh, I was just lazy. I didn't want to chop wood, so I just grabbed a bunch of branch. A tree fell down there. It's pretty dry. I was just not sure if that would work. But yeah, it worked. So I'm gonna let that warm up. I'm gonna put more wood. And I have a couple of things to do inside the van to prep for the breakfast. Alright, so this morning I'm making some cinnamon bun for breakfast. I know it's not so much a breakfast, it's more a dessert, but uh, it's alright. Once in a while, people eat that in the morning. Do, do they? I will. <laughs> uh, so we're going to make that on the Dutch oven. Don't know if that's going to work. Whatever, we're gonna have fun this morning. Uh, so, <clears throat> I need some kind of warm, but not too hot water um, first. So, I'm gonna make myself a tea and I'm just gonna grab some water. So, I just read the recipe and I don't need, uh, <laughs> I thought that I need like warm water, but I need the almond milk to and the butter. Uh, I got some vegan butter. This is what I got, um, and I think that's the only difference between like my kind of version of vegan. Oh, and the almond milk. Yeah, so those two things will be replaced uh, in like a regular recipe, I guess. So I presume if you do have your regular recipe, you could just buy some vegan butter and almond milk and make your cinnamon bun with your recipe. But um, yeah, so I need a little bit. Butter. So they say melted butter. So I'm just gonna put that on a stove and warm up the almond milk. And I was too late the butter. <laughs> and uh, what else I need to put? And the sugar. So that's the first step. I usually don't follow recipes, so we'll see. Oh, and because I uh, most of the ingredient I did have in the van for this recipe, and I didn't want to buy like a big like bag of it. I just went and box engine, but I purchased some salt because I didn't have any. So I have like a bag of salt and one of sugar. So make sure that I I got the right one for the recipe. <laughs> That's all. Wrong bag. <laughs> I thought that was sugar. <laughs> That's good. So I just turned off the stove. Uh, they said just to touch warm. So that's what it is. I think so. And I need one pack of active dry yeast, but because I'm making whoop, uh, because I'm making half of the recipe, I'm just gonna put half of it. It's supposed to look something like when you put the yeast. I never. I mean, it looked like. Smell like almost like butter, like uh, bread. Not just fire, but I don't know. Uh, we'll see if that works. So, so they say to mix. So I think the yeast work is really like doughy. Um, and they said to cover and put in a warm area. But I know like people usually put like if they have a stove, they put just they turn on the light or they put like at a really really minimum and they turn off the oven and they just put that there. But 
Uh, I think I'm going to put that on front dash. Like the sun just hit uh, the front dash. So I think it's just going to keep it warm. And we have to wait. Uh, I think it's half an hour. Having fun this morning, kitty? Yeah, you dirty all my chair though. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit there anymore. That's your spot. Having fun this morning, baby? Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful sun. Yeah. All right, so I went outside. Um, they were asking for melting butter and I was like, oh, but my pan had the the dough now so what I'm supposed to do so I took the Dutch oven and I went outside and just melt a little bit of water, uh, butter sorry so I'm gonna pour that here and it's gonna cool the bottom of the Dutch oven at the same time because um, I forgot to buy one thing uh, they was said to put some parchment paper and I don't have any parchment paper so, let's we'll see what I'm going to do. Maybe I'm going to put some uh, um, aluminum foil in the bottom. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if the dough works first. Oh, yeah. It doubled the size, I think, I was. That's cool. gonna wash my hand with baby wipe <laughs> so yeah the recipe was not a recipe for the Dutch oven and just me who like of course try to make everything in Dutch oven lately um, but yeah the recipe was just uh, to put an oven bake for 25 to 30 minutes and 350 Fahrenheit so this is what we're gonna attempt to do Thinks that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> it's sticky still. <laughs> Alright, so I think I have the dough now. I need to roll it. So I need to find something to roll. I obviously don't have this. And I need to. I think I'm gonna do two square dough. Need a knife. Alright, I think I got, I got a rotor. I just grabbed my peanut butter. And uh, just give it a little. <laughs> A little clean up with baby wipe. Hey, we do what we get, okay? So from that, I need to sprinkle a little bit of the butter that I just melt, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Alright, so I put some aluminum foil. Uh, we're gonna try with that. Uh, the best thing right now is, so I make like four right now. So if I burn them or whatever, I do have still half of the dough to make another batch. So we have two attempts this morning. Alright, so this is all the, oops. This is out of the luck and I'm gonna go put that on the fire and wait 25 30 minutes see how that go
them. <laughs> Big failure. Uh, <laughs> my fire is way too warm. And I just read the recipe again and I was supposed to um, roll them and put it back on a warm place so they can rise again. So that's what I just did with the second batch. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make two <laughs> because uh, I, I wish I could have like at least one good one this morning. <laughs> so, all right, make that again. So what I did, I just put some, um, some rocks and I'm gonna put this on top of it so it can rise a little bit because this is really, really, really warm. So it's only been there for 20 minutes, but I think it's good. So I'm gonna put on the side, try to make another one. I think my my stove is still way too warm, uh, but it look it look promising at least this one. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. I put a little bit of frosting. Hold on. Kind of put all this in my mouth. Oh, <laughs> so it might be just a little bit too crispy on the side, but oh my god, guys! Now I have a little um, frosting. I make way too much because I made the full batch and already burned half of my batch, and I was at just half a batch that I did. Stop it. I'm just dipping in it. <laughs> so there's the sound that we have another uh, cinnamon bun ready, probably. So I'm gonna put the two left. Obviously I'm not gonna eat those two right now, but you know, a little on today. So I'm sure you know by now <laughs> that it's pretty good. Uh, you really need a, a fire that's really like, you know, at the end to not burn the sugar. So if I didn't make you hungry on this video, I don't know. You probably don't like cinnamon bun. That's really good, guys. I'm gonna uh, try to attempt to uh, finish this this one here. And I think I'm gonna pack it up. Uh, I was just thinking. If there is any bear in that area, <laughs> I'm probably gonna attract them with all that sugar. Okay. I do have two more bun for them, you know, if they wanna join me. Alright, so I think I'm gonna let you with this, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little uh, cooking this morning on the campfire. I'm surely gonna do that again. Party with my friend when we go in the back country, you know, make fresh cinnamon bun in the morning. I think, I think the guy's gonna like it. Um, so, I try to cook as much as I can on the fireplace, on the fire right now, because I know probably July, August is probably gonna have a fire ban here in British Columbia. It's kind of like common. So, I'm not gonna be able to make any fire for a portion of the summer. So, Right now I'm just enjoying. I found a bunch of free wood too, so always good. 
So I'm gonna enjoy this and I will see you very soon guys. Have a beautiful day. Beep. Beep.